what's going on guys it's your girl jimmy quit and i'm back with another video for you guys so we're gonna just jump right into it so we are going to talk about your past life first and that is going to give you a kind of um a different perspective on why you guys are maybe going through the things that you are going through now here on earth all right so we're going to use my past life to excuse me so what we have is um, work slave enslavement, concubine, um, prisoner of war, and, and uh, you were just a slave, all right? So in your past life, you have been in a cycle of slavery. You felt bound. You were shackled. You was dealing with suppression and you were restricted from a lot of things. You had to suppress a lot of emotions and it caused you to become very delusional. It caused you to have um, a sense of insanity and hallucinations. hallucinations. This restriction and enslavement in your past life um, did something to your mental, okay? It made you feel like you were crazy it made you feel out of place deranged and it and it, it, it knocked you off um of your spirituality okay so if you found yourself in this lifetime dealing with how to cope with your emotions or you feeling misunderstood or feeling restricted that is because you are here in this lifetime to break the chains to break the cycle of restriction and slavery to realize your ancestors sacrifice all of who they are and what they are and who they are for you to really break the cycle of slavery and, and enslavement and restrictions here on earth. You were chosen to do it, all right? You are no longer going to be a person that is called crazy, that is called delusional. You've been suppressed with and you've been conditioned with things that had nothing to do with you. We have 14 generations back installed in us through emotions, uh, karmic debt, and we are here to clear that. So that is what you went through in your past life, and you are sent on earth to learn how to break the shackles again, how to break the restrictions and the slavery and, you know, the prisoner. Okay, so you are actually entering or are in a season of rebirth, which is Pluto. Okay, Pluto is governed by Scorpio and Scorpio is all about huge transformation, rebirth, death and new beginnings. Okay, seven, eight, nine, um, 27 reduces down to nine, which is your consciousness. It's who you are. So I see you breaking free. I see you digging deep into the cycles of your life. I see you also, you know, realizing that you've been restricted in so many ways. Also, you have two, two, two here, which is you are in alignment. Pluto is the modern ruler of Scorpio, which I just said, and is a powerful you know, plantoid that takes 248 years to transverse the zodiac. Pluto and Chiron, the largest of its five moons, circle each other and creates a binary system, which is all about understanding, compassion, healing, and rebirth. It allows you to really dig deep into your roots and your past life to see what areas that needs to change and be broken what cycles that needs to be broken and a lot of times that is not easy your challenge here as pluto has surfaced is pluto uh is like a shadow side right can bring up obsession it can bring up depression and mortality and grief pluto plays a hard hard ball so get a guide or get some type of support. Reach out to me for this realm if needed, okay? You also, there's a gift when you get Pluto. And the gift is Pluto asks you to 
you know, understand in the face, if you're faced with life and death, what did you leave behind for the world? Did you realize why you are here in this, in, in this earthly realm? Did you learn? Strip down to the essentials and come back to what really matters to find the answer. So that way you could rebirth and break the cycles that had you chained in the past life. So that way you could break the cycles of delusion, of suppression, of humiliation and hallucinations. Okay? You've been uncovering a lot of things. You've been uncovering a lot of things that's not talked about within yourself. Pluto calls for three actions, guys. First, to dive deep. Second, to be willing to transform after you've dug deep and found out the answers. And the third is to use that power of knowledge, wisdom, and embrace your struggles and transmute that energy into power. Again, Pluto, the rebirth planet, is governed by Scorpio and it is calling you to do three things right now, which is dive deep, to be willing to transform and control and take your power back so that way you can move forward and again, break the cycles. The next um, card you have out is Mars. Mars is all about movement. It's all about truth. It's all about action. It's all about who you are and your passion. It's all about stability too because two, two equals to four, right? That's all about stability. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. Also, Mars, right, is a god of war. And is a ruler of Scorpio as well. It speaks of independence, enterprise, willfulness, aggression, passion, defense. Mars urges you to take action. Any action. But this can get you into trouble if you are not really wise enough to decode what's really going on so that way you could take the right action just not any action this is not what mars is calling you to do jump into motion but stay in the driver's seat stay in the light and think through your consequences move militantly but move proact like proactively when you decode what is the underlining issue that is having you or preventing you from moving forward in your life Mars wants you to develop your own strength and bravery through these past life traumas. Mars also loans you competitive, um, a competitive energy, right? And a passion for life. It's your drive. It's your willpower. If you are in a difficult situation right now, call on Archangel Michael. This is the sword. This is the sword of truth. You also, I see a lot of red here. You've been in survival mode too much because you're still in your past life trauma. Your challenge here also is by you going through all of this trauma and not realizing where it came from, you might have been doing things out of hurt which is mean which meaning like you've been sexually active you've been angry you've been uh, at war with yourself and others break that cycle break that chain break that chain that chain with the truth your mind your intellect your throat chakra your crown chakra is being cleared right now Think through your next move. It is okay to take time. 
Just don't take too much time. On a higher note, right? Mars energy manifests as a divine guardian. You're potent in a first responder who is ready to be the hero in any dangerous situations and protect you and yours. So you're fully and divinely protected. You are in alignment here. You are in a season of rebirth and really uncovering and untangling and, un and, and removing the shackles that you was once chained to. These shackles and this slave, this, this enslavement had your finances in shambles. And your past life too. Your finances and your financial, your generational wealth was taken from you. You were a very wealthy person in your past life. That was taken from you. This is the second house, which um, <clears throat> which also like, uh, it's your resources. It's how and what you utilize to live a comfortable life on earth. It is how uh, your resources is being used so you could um, create heaven on earth. Think of your second house as a bank, a museum, or a warehouse. It symbolizes what you value, such as your body, your relationships, and your material world. You have been robbed of your generational wealth and your stability in your past life. This is what you've been sent here to un uncover, to decode. Because spirit wants you to be wealthy. This is your birthright. It's been stolen from you. Explore how you feel about money. So many people on the spiritual path, you know, so many people, again, on a spiritual path, have a mixed feeling about money, their bodies and possessions, right? But you are supposed to have this. This is your birthright. The second house asks you to build a clear and congruent message about your relationship with your resources that you can stand on. You know, matter and what is tangible is our sacred vessel for spirit. Explore your attitude towards your first resource, your own body and sensuality. Look at how you treat your things. Do you feel like money is not owed to you? This is your birthright. Everybody's supposed to live wealthy, especially us. Look for that place of balance where you honor yourself and your resources and respect your physical form as well as the importance of the soul. Invest your energy towards what you value so that way you can always utilize your resources and not burn bridges. What you see is not all that appears. You are, you are limiting yourself, dream bigger. If you are looking for emotional or spiritual satisfaction in your stuff, it will never be enough because it's never quite, you know, scratches the surface. You have to realize what makes you happy and it's not always the material things. Really get into what you value. And when you value the things that you love and you, you don't do it out of ego, this is what's coming. See, you were shackled because of someone's ego. This is not going to be you. You're not going to take that trauma into this life and, and, and hinder the way you're supposed to live again. No. The gift of this card in the second house is your skills, your resources, and your interest in things. All of these things can be sacred if you make an offering of your intentions and engage your work for the benefit of the world, not just you. You don't have to be selfish like these people um, that caused you pain in your past life. At the bottom of the deck, you have Virgo, which is all about digesting. It is all about, you know, 
evaluating. It's all about dissecting. It's all about taking little bits and pieces um, that is hindering your growth and, and removing it, right? So that way you can make a clear path for your abundance. It's mending the things that's needed to catapult you to where you need to be and removing anything that's not. So that's what I have for you. I have that in the past life, you've been, you know, chained. You've been enslavement. You've been a prisoner of war. You've been codependent. You haven't had the ability to move on your own energy. And that caused you a lot of delusion. It caused you your sanity. It caused you a mental breakdown in your past life. It caused you to really experience um, hallucinations and and just dark energies so in this life you are now decoding all the things that you were scared to talk about all the things that you have been conditioned you are no longer um going on with that same energy because you know that something wasn't right there and in order for you to make a change you have to first take accountability and do something about it right be comfortable with a death and an ending because Rebirth is just transition. It's a transformation that you are here, you're going through. And the transformation is allowing you to, to create the motion that you was once restricted of. It is allowing you to create motion and action through truth, through alignment, through your responsibilities. Archangel Michael is here. Your soul is backing you up. You have ancestors that are rooting for you because your family couldn't do it. You've been chosen. A lot of picked you as chosen because you've, you've chosen to walk a path that is not likely took by a lot of people. Because it requires for you to really dig, 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 dig deep down in your soul and really find the strength and the willpower to cut through any illusions or any past life trauma. And clear any karmic debt so you could be free. And that's what you're doing. And this is allowing you to finally reap the rewards that's always been yours. It's, it's causing you and it's leading you to financial and a, uh, generational wealth and abundance. Because that is what you've deserved. This, that's your birthright. That's been stolen from you. But you didn't have the ability to do this in a past life. Because maybe your, your other ancestors and generations. Remember, you carry 14 generations of trauma you know, in you, you are regaining control of your assets, of your resources, and your money is finally being restored. Your abundance is finally being restored because you took the right action. You've trusted yourself and to make a change, okay? You've made a change. You've took this season, as we are in Scorpio season, to really evaluate what's needed to be done. And, and a lot of things has been eclipsed out of your life. So much so that now you are able to really embrace and digest your light and your dark, your polarities, the things that is working for you and the things that is not. All right, that's what I have for you. I love you guys. Actually, I'm gonna pull um, a card to see um, from my sacred symbols. What symbols is with my collective right now? What symbols is with my collective? There we go. Past life. What the hell I told you? You are finally uncovering your past life, okay? Number 14, which reduces down to five, a change. A change. A freaking change, and it starts with you. Pyramids are sacred. It's a sacred site, a holy place. Many wise and advanced um, ancient cultures constructed these mysteries, monuments during their um, existence. You probably, in your past life, worked on this, all right? But when you get this card, you are being drawn to a sacred space of ancient knowledge, past lives, and ancient wisdom to break free from these shackles. You have a holy gift with inside yourself. The connection to your current relationships or situations have deep roots and, and, and perhaps much more than you may have ever known. Dive into ancient wisdom and your past life for your answers. 
Drawing this card can indicate past life connections. You may have been in relationships where it never worked out, but you fell in love or you felt like you knew this person. That was because you needed to learn from these people and clear your karmic debt with them. Drawing this card also um, signifies karmic contracts, karmic vows, karmic commitments, or even feelings of needing to owe someone. You are free. 